So I'm James, this is Boot Wizard Boot Reviews, where we're talking about socks. They go in boots, same thing. And what we have here are the Tokyo Football, the TF socks. So these are the grip socks made by Tokyo Football, who are a retail company based out in Singapore, I think. Tokyo Football, Singapore. It doesn't make sense, but thankfully the socks do. I'm going to talk about the fit of these multiple times. I'm going to praise it and say how good it is. Now, the upside, there's many, many upsides, which I'll get into, but they are anatomically shaped, which is unheard of for a sock at this particular price point, which I just love right left socks. Unbelievable. However, they are still one size fits all, but that's not been a problem for me at all because of the way these socks are made. The fit is still absolutely incredible. But I do feel like I should point out that even though they are one size fits all, I think if you have a particularly large foot, you might find that these don't work for you. And I don't mean width wise here, I mean in the length. If you have a very long foot, you might find that these do run a tiny bit small because the fit is so good, they don't overstretch, you might find that they don't work for you. I will also get into the collar a little bit later on in the video, because that might be a negative for you particularly large footed tall people as well. But let's just keep going because there's so much good that I have to say about these. The reason that I am so impressed with these socks is the fit. They just fit so unbelievably well. They kind of slide onto your foot and it's like your foot just pops in. It's just like, boop, there you go, they fit. So I reviewed the Tabio grip socks a few days ago. I'm not sure when this will go live, but I reviewed those and the main takeaway was the fit is fantastic and that's the most important thing. The best thing about these socks is the fit and that's the most important thing. I really like the way that these fit. There's, you can just see, like it stands up by itself. <laughs> that's not an indication of how long I've been wearing these for, but you can just see the, how well that's been built and shaped to go around your foot. And there's definitely a high enough elastane content in these to give everybody a good fit. So they stretch around your foot. And this also means that they don't suffer from the problem that some of those cheaper grip socks do, where when you put boots on, particularly tight boots, they ride up at the back and you end up with like extra folds of material. There is absolutely none of that here. And these even have grip dots up the heel. So you would expect if a sock is gonna do that, it would have some heel grip, which this does have, but they still don't ride up because the fit is so damn good. I love the fit in case you hadn't noticed. I've already spoken about this compression band style thing that runs across the middle here. Now this actually has less stretch. So when I say compression, it's more just something to stop the sock over stretching around your midfoot, which is great. This area down the front here, so this is built into several sections, is a little bit stretchier and wraps around more towards your forefoot and gives you kind of better fit, better flexibility. Both of them are built in a way that gives you some really nice ventilation. Now that's pretty important here in these socks because they're not the thinnest, particularly on the footbed. So the footbed, the heel and this toe area are all pretty thick, but that's kind of a combination of things. It's in order to give you good durability and also good comfort. So again, comparing to another sock that I reviewed recently, the Tacker Grip Socks, I kind of complained that they were maybe a little too thick and it's because this style of material ran throughout the whole sock. But the benefit of that is a plush, comfortable feeling underfoot and increased durability. These have the plush, comfortable feeling. They have that high cotton content in the areas that you want, and they have a good durability. Like I have used the hell out of these and with no problems so far. And you get all that, but the neck of the sock and the top of the sock is all breathable material that wicks sweat really well, that has all the, content, all the elements you need, such as elastic, stretchy, brilliance to get around your foot and give you a good fit. It's a really nice blend of some of the best things about cotton crew socks and some of the best things about synthetic performance crew socks. The heel, of course, as I mentioned, has the grip dots running up the heel, which is always something that I tend to like. And the grips on the base, let's have a look at the bottom of the sock here. As I say, like those Falker grip dots, and they run across 
in a pattern that basically covers the main contact areas of the foot. So they're not up in this arch area where you don't want them and they run through the heel out onto the outside of the foot key contact zones. The grip on the outside on your insoles is good. You don't get a great amount of movement and it does exactly what you would expect it to do without being particularly intrusive. I like the grip dots system. I think it's pretty positive and the footbed that it fits on is also fantastic. However, these have another grip trick up their sleeve. If you remember my Lux grip sock, throw into another grip sock review I did recently, they have grips on the inside. So this has previously been something that's only been reserved for the OG True Socks. They're the only ones that had the internal grips with a kind of suede-like material. The Lux Grip Socks went for a full padded silicon material that I personally didn't love. And these TF Socks have gone for somewhere in the middle. So you get an exact replica of the grip dot pattern on the inside of the sock, all made out of silicon elements. How do I feel about these tiny grip dots on the inside? I've been saying for quite a long time that more companies should put grips on the inside of their socks. And to my knowledge, it was only not done because True Socks were the only company that was allowed to do it. However, a few more companies have done it. How do I feel about it? Silicon elements on the inside of socks, I'm not sure are for me. Now this is very different to the Lux sock. The Lux sock I complained about because there was too many elements, they were too big. If your foot got hot or sweaty, you kind of felt, you really feel them underneath and it just wasn't a sensation that I enjoyed. The way that these are built, all the little dots, that absolutely doesn't happen and you still get a really comfortable feeling. You don't have that kind of sweat affecting that those grip dots and making the socks slippy or uncomfortable, but you can feel them. There is something that you can feel. You do, they do, you can forget about it as you play, the more you get into the game, but it's definitely a sensation that you will notice when you're first wearing the socks. It's effective. It's definitely a positive in terms of performance. It's a positive performance benefit. So from the one thing that I'm not 100% sold on to the only thing that I don't really like about the sock and it is in the neck here. Now, the neck has some really great properties in the fact that it has this kind of compression band at the top, so these definitely stay up. There's no way that these socks are slipping down or falling down. These have, you can, tell that these have been designed by somebody who's been really smart about what they want in their grip socks and it's so important that they stay up and just adding something like this is just simple effective brilliant however i do think that it's a bit short i wish that these socks came up a little bit higher up my leg um it's not a deal breaker and if you're going to use them for matches where you're going to wear the socks underneath sock sleeves, then you've got no problems at all. I just want them to be a little bit taller. I prefer them to be a slightly taller anyway and I feel like if you are a particularly tall person, I'm not that tall, it may be more of an issue and you're going to want them to come up a little higher. But if I'm being honest, that's the only real genuine criticism I have of these socks is that I wish the neck was slightly taller. Um, other than that, they're pretty freaking fantastic. Let's talk about pricing. Now I've said these are good value for money multiple times. I have pretty much, I hope, proven throughout this video that these are not only a great value for money grip sock, but a fantastic grip sock in general. The pricing pushes this over the edge. These are 14 Singapore dollars. If you do a bit of conversion, it's about nine euros. It's nine euros for a sock that I believe to be one of the best that you can go out and buy. These are better than pretty much all of the other grip socks at this particular price point and even slightly more. Shipping if you are within Singapore is very cheap and it's essentially nominal. It's not even really worth considering. There are some multi-packs of these that do make them a little bit cheaper to buy still. If you are shipping out internationally, most countries it seems to be around nine Singapore dollars. That's what it is to ship to me, which is about five euros. Now, if you do kind of a percentage of your sale comparison, that is more than half 
of the amount that you're going to pay for the socks themselves, which is potentially going to put some people off, but it shouldn't because the socks are so unbelievably cheap that it's not really going to matter. If you take a nine euro grip sock and you add five euros to it and you're paying 14 euros for essentially one of the best grip socks that you can go out and get, this is still cheaper than going out and buying something like a pure sock, um, a Gain the Edge grip sock. Uh, I can, I've got a look, and is it cheaper than the looks? It's probably a very similar price to the looks if you're in the UK or US, because looks do free shipping. But essentially, compared to all those socks, it's better, and I would happily pay put it all together, 14 euros to get those socks. And again, as normal, if you are buying multiple pairs, the shipping cost ends up being cheaper. So there's for me, there's no reason to not pick up a few pairs of these, pay the one lot of shipping and save yourself a lot of money and get what I could consider to be some of the best grip socks around. That does lead us on quite nicely to our tier ranking table. So let's bring up the tier ranking table. Now, normally socks at this particular price point tend to end up in that cheesy category because that's just the kind of quality that they are and they're all very similar. Not these, they're better than that, uh, bumping them up. Next category is the Nike crew category. The requirement to get into this category is, are you at least as good as a pair of Nike crews? Would I wear this particular sock over a Nike crew sock or instead of? And these, absolutely, the fit is absolutely good enough. The general quality of the sock is good enough. I would wear these over a pair of Nike crews, which means bumping it up again, which puts these socks up with a chance of getting into the foot fetish category, which I regret every day for naming that, and the foot spa category. Now, foot fetish category contains things like the Tabio grip sock, it contains things like the Light Guard grip sock, which are some of my absolute favorite grip socks to wear. And I don't think I can put these in there just yet. However, just below that, we have the foot spa category, which contains things like the true sock. And honestly, I would wear these over a true sock because the fit is so much better. The materials are good. They're well put together. And we do have to consider how damn well priced these are. So these are going to go right at the top end of my foot spa category, which is saying something for a sock that only costs this much money. So all we have to do is look at the socks that are in and around this sock, how much you would pay for those socks, and then how much you pay for these socks. And I think I can comfortably claim that these are the best value for money socks that you can buy on the market right now. I'm happy to sit here to say that, to say you should go out and get them. Am I going to say that these are better than something like a light guard sock or a Falca sock? I don't think they are. But for a sock that's nine euros, I don't think there's much to complain about really, especially when those socks are 40, 50, 60 euros. No, thank you. Um, yeah, these are phenomenal and I will happily pick these up to use in a game and put into my, my rotation. If you do want to check them out, there's a link down in the top pinned comment to the page for the Tokyo Football TF Grip Socks. Please go over and give them a follow as well. And that is all from me here at Boot Wizard today. Please get subscribed to pick up all my other boot and sock reviews and hit that like button as well because, well, makes me feel good and I appreciate it. Let me know if there's any other socks you want to see reviewed down in the comments. But that's all from me here today. Have a good one. I'll see you soon.